The Elder Scrolls, those mystic artifacts of immense power, have been pivotal in shaping the history of Tamriel and beyond, yet they're rarely ever seen, leaving many wondering, what do they actually do? Well, luckily for you, after a recent trip to the Imperial City, one of our Law Tour ships stumbled across a Khajiit trader, nervously clutching one of these scrolls. And after offering the feline something he simply couldn't refuse, it was Skooma. Our ship captain made off with the scroll, bringing it back to our research and development team, ready to break it down and analyse what the Elder Scrolls are, what you could use them for, and where they come from. Which, actually, we don't know. The Elder Scrolls are perhaps the most mysterious artefacts in the world of Nern. Scrolls of unknown origin, promising glimpses into the past, present, and future. We don't even know who created them. While some refer to them as Adric prophecies, attributing their creation to the divine Adra, and more specifically, to Akatosh, the dragon god of time. This is but one theory. There are accounts that suggest these scrolls predate even the gods themselves, existing as pure fragments of creation outside of time and space, yet also present in the physical world. Without a clear understanding of how or why they came into being, their exact purpose remains a topic of speculation and debate. But what we do know is that they are intrinsically linked to the flow of time itself, allowing them to function as reservoirs of vast knowledge, chronicling events across the past, present, and future. For those who can decipher their contents, the scrolls present a spectrum of potential futures, each a path that might unfold. And as time flows forward and one of these prophesied futures does come to pass, it is etched permanently within the scroll, making them an incredibly useful tool for those cunning and opportunistic enough to try and discern or alter the future for their own gains. Yet the influence of the Elder Scrolls extends far beyond the realm of prophecy. They hold the power to unveil the mysteries of history and, on rare occasions, to alter its course, as demonstrated by, of all people, the Grey Fox, Corvus Umbranox, who utilised an Elder Scroll to break a curse placed upon the Grey Cowl by the Daedric Prince Nocturnal, effectively rewriting history just to remove the curse's effects. The scroll also possesses other, less specified powers, like how Alduin the World Eater was banished forward in time by a group of Nord heroes using the scroll, an act that prevented the immediate destruction of the world, but set the stage for a final showdown between Alduin and the last Dragonborn. But if you do get your hands on one of these scrolls, you better hold your horses before you scurry away to your reading corner, ready to unravel its secrets. Delving into these scrolls is not just as straightforward as flipping through a book, it's akin to peering into the very flow of time itself. To the untrained eye, the Elder Scrolls present nothing but an array of indecipherable symbols, cryptic runes, etchings, and celestial charts that baffle most who gaze upon them. And for those rare individuals who possess some ability to interpret these etchings, attempting to read an Elder Scroll without the necessary precautions can lead to dire consequences, including blindness, or in extreme cases, madness. However, the cult of the Ancestor Moth, a group dedicated to studying the scrolls, have developed a ritualistic approach to prepare them for reading an Elder Scroll. These moth priests are taken to one of the many sacred ancestor groves throughout Tamriel, where they remove the bark from canticle trees, ground it up, and spread it on their bodies, done in order to attract ancestor moths, whose ancient magic allows the priests to read the Elder Scrolls. Even if you do go through all this hassle though, every reading of the scrolls will still cost you a portion of your sight, traded for the modicum of knowledge you obtain from the scroll. But luckily for you, the Dwemer, an ancient, extinct, and technologically advanced race, devised a mechanical solution to this problem. They built a device capable of safely transcribing the scroll's contents onto a metal lexicon, allowing them to access the knowledge contained within the scroll without the dire consequences of direct exposure. Yet this method comes with its limitations. It's a more detached process, possibly restricting the full experience and power one might derive from directly interacting with an Elder Scroll. 
but if you did somehow manage to access the knowledge of these scrolls, what would you use it for? Would you attempt to alter the past or try to discern the future? Let us know down in the comments and make sure to subscribe to join us again soon. Thanks for watching, catch you next time. The Lotos Spaceport is your destination for tours through the most fascinating worlds, groups, and events in the multiverse. From sci-fi to fantasy, we have it all. So make sure to subscribe and book your next trip with us.